we have a VGYN clinic, pediatric clinic, surgical clinic, you name it, specialty care clinic. Yeah. So yeah. how do you deal with that in the I mean, Again, uh, like I was saying, the approach is not the illness. It's not the certain organ that I'm concentrated on. Therefore, which is why we put aside the specialties. You know, if I were, if, if the approach was, for example, uh, uh, we're going to treat the head, we're going to treat mental illnesses, we're going to treat uh, 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 typhoid, we're going to treat uh, hypertension. But because we're treating the person in a holistic approach, and it's the person that we're treating, mm -hmm. so it really puts the, put aside the specialty. Okay. And so, as homeopaths... So you see, uh, in the same breath, you will see a peds, you will see a pregnant woman in exactly. the same clinic, exactly. an older pe pe person with chronic disease, exactly. and so on and so forth. Yes. Okay. Yes. What about trauma? Do you involve with trauma or some of the, some of the most, quote-unquote, serious illness where cancer and stuff like that? Or do you oh, refer? Yes. Very much so. Very much so. Now, uh, when I say when, uh, we are very much involved in that, uh, now, don't get me wrong, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean, for instance, that a person who needs surgery, that we're going to stop the person from having surgery. Okay. Although I've seen a few cases where, you know, a person had an ovarian cyst, and, you know, through homeopathic treatment, you know, it really um, 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 put it at a size so small that, you know, surgery is no longer um, needed. But, um, yes, for example, when, I've, when we have trauma cases in almost all homeopaths, I even have people, some of my physicians who aren't homeopaths, mm -hmm. and because of what they have witnessed, and they would say, hey, listen, um, we just had a person who had an accident, the person is bleeding, uh, can you give that person that remedy uh, that you gave to, okay. to to stop bleeding and so forth until we can you know, do a, another prevention? So yes, we are very much involved as well. Very interesting, very interesting. Yeah. As a matter of fact, and I could tell you right now, if, if an accident happens right now, a person, uh, the, uh, uh, there's a remedy in my head, and each all homeopaths they know that would be the first thing we do before doing anything else. Okay. Yeah. So is the approach the same for the chronic illness? Obviously, you know, homeopathy could probably treat a lot of infections because they're yes, very good at infections. The approach is, is the same, but it, it, it asks that a, a, a homeopath be uh, more experienced and be more, more guided. Okay. Uh, when, when treating a lot of um, um, so you would um, have a protocol as well for for chronic. Well, the, the protocol is not just for chronic. It's a protocol for homeopathic medicine in a whole. To treat people. Yes, to treat people. Not correct. to treat disease. That's okay. Right. Okay. That's, okay. Correct. Gotcha. That's correct. Now, in your clinics in Haiti, can these people afford this? Well, we're not charging the people. You are not charging the people. Well. Let's put it this way. For example, most of the patients that we're seeing right now are the pa people who are victims of the earthquake in Lakai. Mm -hmm. How can we charge them? So is this where those big organization comes in? The well, Path Without Borders really been very influential in Haiti and helping a lot of problems? Yes, yes, wow. they have. And, and Home Path Without Borders, you know, people would think that they are a big organization. They're really not. It's that the work that they've done is, is, is tremendous. To me, it's tremendous. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. No, it is, it is. But it's not such a big organization. They have very limited resources, you know, and um, we twice a month we, we, we go back. We, we see those patients in Lakai after the earthquake, mm -hmm. and, and we don't just see those patients and then don't come back. No, we have to do follow up. So uh, our uh, we have a model at our mobile clinic. We have we, we do follow up with those patients, and in the fa in those follow ups, um, you also get a feedback of how uh, you know uh, the patient uh, uh, how sure. the patient is doing. And uh, um, so these people, they, they can't afford anything. Uh, they they lost everything, you know, to the earth. Earthquake and, 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 and multiple yeah. uh, natural catastrophes. Mm -hmm. That's Haiti. right. That's right. And and before the earthquake happened, they hardly had anything to begin with. <laughs> so again, how can we charge these people? Okay. And because um, homeopathic medicine is, is, is more affordable uh, for us, um, you know, we can come back and see those patients and, and, and follow up with them. We do mobile clinic twice a month, and we see, uh, for example, in, 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 in per day, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see something around 120, 130 patients. Wow. You know, we'll be a group of between six and eight homeopaths. Okay. Uh, you know, who, who goes to the field. Just and um, so if, if, if sometimes we'll, we'll do clinic for three days, and, you know, um, during those three days, uh, we could see close to 300, 400 patients. 
Jesus. Quick question there. Given the, from what you're you saying, and I'm understanding is that you, you definitely get the support and the demand and the love from the general public who come to your clinic. Mm -hmm. What about the institution that exists in Haiti or Department of Health or things like this, or your colleagues in the, in, in the traditional medicine? Okay, uh, here it is. Uh, we, you know, has, has a lot of people, you know, some people are skeptic. Sure. In the beginning, but those who have experience coming up at they go and tell. What yeah, about? They, that's right. What about? Yeah. That's the way it is. And it's the same thing when we go to mobile clinic. We go to mobile clinic, and uh, and uh, when we are doing the follow up, when we see our patient come back, we ask them to come back. A lot of times they come back with their husbands, with their children, and so forth, because they want they also want them to be uh, to be seen. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2012, 2013, we started the process of um, getting the recognition from uh, um, um, from the Minister of Health. Okay. And, and the course that was offered, or that is still being offered, um, or we hope to continue that course, okay. it was with the collaboration of the Ministry of Health and the Haitian um, um, Health, uh, the Haitian Medical Association. As a matter of fact, it's in the Haitian Medical Association that the classes are provided. Oh, great, great, yeah. great. So with, you with the collaboration of, of course of the uh, of the president of the Haitian Medical Association. I'm glad to hear that. So Dr. Pros Dr. Prosper, you are here on a mission, okay? So how do you want uh, the the people of Tampa Bay to help you? What 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 do you need really? Well, um, I don't think I need to say much about the need in Haiti, what is needed, uh, medically speaking. You know, where uh, in homeopathy, we have great preventive um, um, our medicine to the prevention. Sure. And uh, it, uh, with, uh, with the uh, different type of epidemics, we have worked great with that. But also, we work great with trauma, we work great with, uh, with just about all the cases. Okay. And being that in Haiti right now, the crisis that we're going through, you know, home uh, homeopathic medicine is just a great tool provide those services to these needy people. And whether it's mental health as well, to help the, the person, you know, stabilize and well, so forth. I'm glad you brought that in. Yeah, yeah. that also. And you know, after, after, once you have trauma, once you have uh, natural disaster, a lot of people are traumatized, and you need that. You need that. And just imagine, in those small kids, we come, each one of us homeopaths, treating all these patients. I am so glad you mentioned that. Yes, and this is something we're asking the people of, of, of Tampa, please support us so that we can support and provide those services to the people. Yes, we've seen a lot of patients, but there are a lot more to be seen. And the the, the, the amount of people that, that are asking for our presence is just overwhelmed. And without having those kind of support, we just we won't be able to continue doing such. We want to be able to continue doing those mobile cl clinics twice a month even more so if we could okay. provide the resources. So uh, so in your personal opinion, here's a question because that's how we, we titled the, the invitation. Is homeopathic medicine changing life in Haiti for the better? If it wasn't so, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Uh, that. Just so that the people know, I left Haiti when I was eight years old. Uh, I, uh, I, I stopped. I went back to Haiti. And, um, because I wanted to make, because I want to make a difference. Okay. And yes. um, if I wouldn't dare practice or do something that wouldn't make a difference in Haiti, otherwise I might just come back and live in the states and live in depression. Uh, but um, hey, folks, you heard the doctor, okay? So he's gonna be with us this Saturday as the guest speaker at this event, fundraising event. It's gonna be at this uh, United Methodist Church in Temple Terrace. The address is 3050 Bush Boulevard in Tampa, and we start at 5, and there'll be the famous Haitian food, Jiricola Bois, you know, and live music by yours truly, Tropic Groove. It's going to be a festive atmosphere. We really welcome you all to come and see and hear the testimony. So waiting for you, looking forward to see you. Um, doctor, is anything else? Time is always fly when you're having a good time. So, is there any last word, anything you want to conclude with or going to say? Well, uh, again, thank you for having me. And um, not just for the people of Haiti, anyone around there who are listening, 
coming up with it is a good um, um, uh, is a good practice to implement and to support your, your, your health care. So whatever area you are at, you know, seek a homeopath in your area and um, to support you and help you in your in your in your health concerns. Doctor, certainly appreciate your presence here and just final word for me, homeopathic medicine is over two hundred years old. It was popular in the United States, but for many reasons, we had sustained a decline, but there's a tremendous resurgence around the world, since in the, uh, in the United States as well, uh, since the 70s, where homeopathic now is, is basically a complementary aspect of the traditional medicine in most countries uh, and Europe, and, and, and really uh, um, India and all those countries. And we really clearly, being from Haiti, going to benefit from this kind of medicine who addressed the whole human being, not part of it. I appreciate your listening to this program and your support. And as I said at the beginning, if you have any questions for us, you can call the stations. We are at 727-637-2416. Take care of yourself and be safe out there. And Doc, thank you very much. Thank you.